Hey, how are you doing, man? What's going on here? Uh, Free apologies. Apologizing to people. Okay, what do you what do you got to apologize for? Uh, what do you want? What do you need an apology about? Uh, I would need an apology from NASA. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're sorry you're not in the space program. It's just a lot of applicants. Okay. And it's hard to kind of like. Um, but if you try again next year, we'll, we'll apologize again. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about this one? Uh, can you apologize for giving us CGI images of outer space, and why don't we have anything that's real? Yeah, um, we're sorry that um, we're, we want people to think that we're better than we are. And, uh, you know, and we will do it again still, but we apologize. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll continue <laughs> to deceive us. Do you know that that's what NASA actually stands for, is deceived? Yeah, N-S-A. Yeah. Deceived. Right. N-A-S-A, it's, you mean? That's a, yeah, that's the actual original name. What? Yeah, N-A-S-A is the original name where NASA comes from. You are so cool. What? Do you hey. have Facebook? I do, actually. I'm live streaming right now. I'm can Joshua I, Swift. Can I add you on Facebook? Yeah, please do, you have do a card man. Or something? Uh, I don't, man. I wish I did. I, I was thinking about it. Um, but, uh, so cool. um, thanks, man. Here. I just try to be myself, you know, but, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, out here trying to share knowledge about, uh, People. the massive deception that is NASA. Dude, you are like, like, and, uh, like, I like what you're doing, and I like your personality and what you're wearing, and, like, appreciate it. You're, thanks. you have a lot of positive energy, and, um, here I am, man. Yeah, I just sent an invite for me. Nice. Is this on YouTube? I will be on YouTube later. I do have a channel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, called Authentic Intent. Yeah, I have uh, about over 40 hours of this. Okay. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Thanks a lot. <coughs> a sailboat there. Be nice. So just letting people know at their own pace that they have been deceived and just trying to encourage people. You got you to try to encourage them. Don't talk down to them. Everybody, We were all at this point before, whether you believe in God and you were ignorant to Him or you believed in the globe and now you understand flat earth. There are no atheists on a flat earth. So, we'll, we'll put that aside for now. Religion, race, creed, sexual orientation. I don't give a rip if you're a tranny right now. I mean, if you're openly deceiving people that you're a female, but you were more, born a male and you're in Hollywood, that's a deception. I have a problem with that. But if you're openly letting people know that you're a tranny, like yesterday I saw a guy dressed in a flower skirt. Had to have been in his like late forties, but he was in a flower dress. You know, I don't care. He needs to know about flat Earth too. Once everybody knows about flat Earth and we can get the deception out in the open and everybody all move on, then we can deal with all the problems that we have. You know, and then we can blow ourselves up. Okay, but until then, let's just try to wake people up from this deception. I can talk to these people here, see what they think about a couple of bumper stickers I have. Yeah, BPA and plastics. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. I just uh, walking around doing a little social experiment about some bumper stickers. If you saw these bumper stickers on somebody's car, just what would be your first reaction? Okay? Alright. Alright. Boom. I think I wouldn't take that for what it was. Okay, sure. What do you what do you think? I don't know. No? Hey, it's okay, I've heard all the name calling, I've heard, you know. What do you? What's your first I would just think thought? It's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. I mean, you yeah. can't ignore s s science. I mean, if, I mean. Okay. It's been proven over and over that we know that it's not flat. Sure. Okay. Well. You 
you have to respect other people's views, but... Yeah, I do have to respect other people's views, but I don't have to take them as truth. Right. Yeah, um... I don't know, what, from what I've heard, like, Flat Earth stuff... Yeah. Most of it can be, like... I don't know. Most of it can be explained by gravity. Okay. So, I don't know. Sure. So, if you don't have an answer, you can say gravity. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Okay. But like, I don't know. It's okay. This is a topic that's very new for a lot of people. And what do you think? I think well, the fact that it says on the bottom, "Do not Google flat Earth." Yeah. It's like why would I need? Why would you even need to Google that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. What, what would be the right? What would be the point? Yeah. I don't okay. Know. The fact that you're telling me not to Google it, it's like, what am I going to find out? That yeah. I don't want? Could be shady or, yeah, you know, I mean... I like to figure out for myself. Yeah. Maybe. Would you... Could you admit that you don't know everything? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Could you admit that um, if somebody was to present you with information that you didn't know initially, yeah. that they could be telling you the truth, but because of our education and our peers, that it would be hard to believe that because it's just something that you've never researched before, so... Yeah, I guess, like, yeah, that definitely could be, but something like the Earth being flat. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's all, okay. you can fly around the Earth, like, it's not flat. Okay. I don't know, like, but okay, I definitely like, agree. I've seen, I've seen, like, posts where they're like, how do you explain, like, if the world was round, you could just hover and you would get to your location. It's an interesting point, huh? Yeah, but... Yeah. So there's a theory of can. relativity, right? Yeah, but you can Okay. So how high do you have to be for that effect to happen where you're seeing the Earth moving and rotating, but then you're in space? Okay, so between the Earth's surface and space, how high do you have to be before you're not in space, but you can see the Earth rotating? I think you just have to be outside the atmosphere. Okay, what, like, how many miles, though? Yeah. I don't know, 20, I don't even know. Do you know what lower Earth orbit is? I don't even know how high... Yeah, so plane, planes fly about 30 to 35,000 feet or so, yeah. so that's about 7 miles or so. I'd say you have to be at least 100, 150,000 feet. Okay, yeah. sure. I mean, to even just sit there and let these see the Earth rotate. Yeah. Maybe probably farther. Did you know that there are actual balloon, like, high altitude balloon videos that show that from 150,000 feet that the Earth is indeed horizontal? So, to the effect that if you were to grab a ruler, and put a ruler up to that image of the horizon and try to equal up the ruler to the horizon, it would be actually equal and it would be flat. Isn't that because you're just seeing a two-dimensional figure though? The Earth's 3D. It's three-dimensional, it's not just like flat, so if you put a ruler on a picture that you're seeing... Okay. I mean like right here, it looks sure. flat. Yeah, you yeah. put a ruler up and like measure that though. Okay, so like, like this, right? Like this is a picture of where we live. Yeah. Do you th see any inconsistencies with the two pictures? You can hold it if you want. I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, go for it. It's not the same picture. Okay. <laughs> wow. Or well, it is, yeah. but it's not like from the same angle. Like, okay. Florida's way over here. Florida's almost in the middle of the picture. So, do you think that's an angle? Because both of these are proportionate balls to each other. So, would could could it be guessed that? Uh, the picture on your right is just a bigger continent than the picture on your left? No, because no, it's, it's an angle. Yeah. Okay. It's because it's different seasons. The Earth rotates and it's tilted on axis. So. Okay. But it has could nothing be, to do... Could be, this could be like winter. Okay, so do you summer. believe in like the Earth being flat? Well, can I get to my point about showing you this picture first? Yeah. And then yeah. we'll go back to the flat Earth? Yeah. Because this is actually how I started my awakening point is those two pictures right there are from NASA's official website, okay? So out of the two pictures, which one is more in your eyes or what you have been taught or learned more of a credible Earth than the other? I don't think one's more credible than the other. Okay. So you, both, you think that they're both equal to each other, so they're both pictures of the Earth? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that they're both CGI? They're they're not actually real pictures taken like if I was to take a picture with your cell phone. Those are actually computer images, so it's like Disney Pixar created those. Right. I did not know that. 
okay, yeah. And they actually tell you that on their website, that they're renderings. Okay. Yeah. And so if you flip over the card, that may or may not be a picture of the flat earth. And so when you get the idea of flying around, so if I flew from here, California, to Thailand, I would just be going like this, like just straight across. And if we wanted to circumnavigate the earth, for example, we could start here and just go do, 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 and then we're back to where we started. So does that make more sense than the globe concept? I, I, and I'm sure it doesn't because it's new information. I just feel like you can fly, if it was a circle, you could yeah. still fly in a straight line. Okay, like a circle or a ball. Well, it'd be like a... Because this is more like a like pizza, a right? Yeah. Okay. This is saying you go up in the air, you fly in one direction, and then you, like, back down. But if okay. you're flying somewhere, you go in, like, a semicircle. You know, and, like... Okay. Okay, so here, where would be, yeah. like, the north and the south? Okay, so the north pole is right there in the center. That's the white there. And your compass, even when you're in Australia or the South American region, your compass is always going to point north, because that's the magnetic north. You'll never be in Australia and buy a compass that points south. Right. Yeah, so you're always going to point north. So your your position on Earth is relative to a compass. So if you keep going like this, yeah, you're going west or east, but your compass is always going to point north. So that's how you're able to tell where you are on Earth. That makes sense, but then the ocean just falls off. Like where's Well, let's say that instead going. of Antarctica being its own individual continent, this would be Antarctica holding the waters in, let's say, for example, a 200-foot ice wall. Okay. Okay, it's just an idea. But then where does the land go? Like where it might go infinitely. Like how they tell us about infinite space, right? Isn't space constantly expanding and it's infinite, right? Right. Okay, so you have that idea in your head, which I did also, because I loved Star Trek with John luc Picard. Yeah. It was easily the best space TV show, in my opinion, but... If you were to just go up here and climb, you could, for example, if you could make it through the Antarctic chill, maybe a couple hundred yards or a couple hundred miles, there's more land like we have here. Do you think that the establishment would hide something like that from us? I mean, but... So there no? would be no way I that mean... you could go from here and end up over here. No. There are actually no flights that you can take from South America to Australia over Antarctica. There are no one-way flights that most people can afford to prove that there are non-stop flights from South America to Australia. You actually have to connect flight straight across. Wouldn't that be though because the conditions are like <coughs> below zero? Like how, how cold is it when you're 40,000 feet in the air? I guess you're in an airplane. Like negative 20 Celsius. But how do you... it would be way colder <coughs> in the winter in Antarctica. It could be, but... It could be, but it could not be. Did you know that on your right, that's actually the official flag of the UN? Do you think that's a coincidence? That it's similar to what an, a flat Earth map might look like? Yeah, I think it is. Just okay, I sure. Mean, I, I'm not a coincidence theorist. I don't really believe in a lot of coincidences, but... Yeah, well, it's just because if you look at, if you're thinking at the idea of a globe being like a sphere... Yeah. You can... There's so many different ways you can interpret it. Like you have, could have North America on the left side of the map, or you could have China on the left side of the map. Okay. Because it's a circle, but to show, like, have one solid image, like, this could be a repeated circle. Okay. But again, you're taking the information that you're given to by NASA, which I showed you are CGI pictures. So they just made those up. Right. So we actually don't know that we live on a globe or not. And we may or may not know that this is a credible map, but I'm trying to present to you information that could just the way that the help world... you question right, what they've told us. I think it's kind of a far-fetched idea. Though. It's not really because this is a massive movement right now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah and there's a lot of just Joe Blows and, you know, Susan Sarandons <laughs> that go out and do their own experiments and actually prove that water doesn't curve because when a boat goes over the, quote, horizon, if you have a more powerful telescope or lens like a P900 Nikon camera, you can actually bring that boat back into focus when it's 30 to 40 miles away. And with the equation 8 inches per mile squared, that boat should go over the horizon, but it doesn't after just even 10 miles. Yeah, I mean, I... 
Mm-hmm. I guess I don't have anything. I don't know anything to say to that. Like, sure. It's just, <clears throat> I mean, everything that we know is taught to us by somebody else. Like, if you were to go out and do experiments to learn everything, like, mm-hmm. is, can you breathe underwater? Like, sure. If you went to go and do that as an experiment, or like, can you eat grass? <laughs> uh-huh. You have to. You have to take somebody's word. Okay. Like, people have done experiments, and we've been living for two thousand. You know. Yeah. However long humans way long in two thousand. How long humans have been here? It's like <clears throat> that's what makes us so smarter than other animals, is because we learn from our future generations. Okay. Like, there could be stuff that the establishment hides from us, but I feel like that's just a concept that's been known since Plato and Aristotle and like all sure a long time Actually, ago. Yeah. Before that. Even. Yeah, like five hundred years ago. I don't know where it was. It was a big consciousness been, shift yeah. about five hundred years ago. With Aristotle. And Plato. Yeah, it's, you know, and, and um, you know, your different guys, Copernicus, yo, you know, yo. Christopher Columbus and stuff like that, like, but, but also, do you think that that was the start of the transitional period because they knew that over 500 years and maybe almost 10 generations it would take to switch the consciousness from the idea of Flat Earth and then proving, trying to prove that it's a globe? I mean, possibly, but what would be the benefits of hiding that Earth? Okay. Yeah, and that's a good question. Um, do you believe in evolution? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Where do you think that idea came from? Just pure science. I mean, mm-hmm. animals ad- adapt to their environment. Do you know what microevolution and macroevolution is? Uh, I guess I would just assume it's like between like biology and then I guess I don't know what macroevolution is. Okay, could I just encourage you to check out what the difference between the two is because one is a transitional period from one species to another which we have never observed and another is just an animal's ability to adapt to its environment yeah so that's not actually a species change it's just an animal adapting to its particular environment over a period of time so macro evolution would be like us coming from apes that's a massive fraud that, but that would be an example of macro- it could be yeah 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 I got you. okay yeah and dinosaurs and stuff and all that yep. you know so with that being said their ability to use the globe model and when you look up into outer space it can, they can use that philosophy and that indoctrination or even that belief system to create in a consciousness on earth that what we see in the sky is actually a result of a big bang creating something out of nothing. Wasn't there another situation at a period of time when someone created something out of nothing? Could you... Do you know of another situation where that happens? You're talking about the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do you think the establishment would ever possibly take credit for what God did? and then actually turn it into the complete opposite of the stars and planets and stuff and try to create a religion that evolution is a true scientific fact when in actuality it's not and it's never been proven. I mean, maybe. It's a possibility. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Something to think about. Yeah, I definitely can. I mean, everything's possible. Yeah, definitely. Um, I just got one more thing. Sure. We kind of started off with the space concept with the moon landing. Do you believe in the moon landing? No. I don't. Wow, she's Sorry. adamant. <laughs> okay. Don't. All right. Well, I don't want to create any friction here, okay? Um, <laughs> we're done. Yeah. Uh, if she became a flat earther and you were still a globe earther, would this relationship work very well? Yeah. Yeah? It's trying to work it out. Okay. So she doesn't believe it. Uh, how about you? Do you believe the, we land on the moon? I mean, I do, but... Okay. Know. You gotta think about it more. It's like, I don't know, it does seem kind of odd. It is. I don't know. Especially since we haven't been back and we used. You remember the Game Boy? Yeah. Love the black and white one? Yeah. Yeah, we actually. They tell us that we use technology like that to go to the moon and back. That's forever, yeah. It's. And they've lost all the trajectory data, so that we actually, if we wanted to, we couldn't go back. Because not only did they say on NASA that they destroyed that technology to go to the moon, but they also lost all of the GPS, if you will, to go to the moon. Isn't that kind of coincidental? It's fishy. Yeah, it is kind of is. Yeah. So I just encourage you just to look at that, you know, top five. The pictures like the shadow doesn't match. I don't know, it's like a big thing. 
yeah, you're you're on it. Um, <clears throat> they use the moon landing, not a thing between Sputnik, Russia, and America. They actually used the moon landing so they could prove what I, the picture I just showed you about Earth from space. Have you ever been in an airplane before? Yes. Okay, so all three of us are going to go onto an airplane, right? So just let's use our imagination. So we're on an airplane, right? And it's got all your windows and stuff. So all three of us, let's all black out all of the windows, okay? So it's completely dark. Have you ever been into a cave? You can't see the hand in front of your face, right? Because it can get so dark. So that's how dark it is in the airplane cabin. Okay, so I'm going to take off one of the shades from the light. So now we have light coming in from one of the windows, okay? And then we're going to step back like 10 or 15 feet. <coughs> and then we're going to have somebody on the outside of the airplane put a transparency of one of the pictures of the globe that I just showed you that's CGI. And if we put a camera onto that window that has the transparency, do you think there could be any possibility that that, would, that might look like we're outer space at 130,000 miles away and then we have the picture of the Earth through that transparency? Yes. If you just had the picture on yeah. the window? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they did that? Do you think that the story I told you is the reason why I told it? Because they plagiarized 130 miles, low Earth, but it was really them in low Earth orbit, and they just put a transparency over the window? I, have, I think that's like a lot to do to go and try and convince us that. Yeah. Earth is yeah. Earth. Did you know that NASA gets $52 million a day, so they kind of have a budget to do that? <laughs> I, mean, I didn't know they got that much. Yeah. We could do that if we wanted to, yeah, you know? So. I mean, yeah, it could be possible, definitely. Okay, sure. Yeah, and the picture of the satellite that I showed you, you know, whether it may or may not be real. Uh, did I show you the picture of the satellite? No. Okay, let me, I'll just run through all of it. We actually kind of got Yeah, it let me just show you that real quick. Does that look like a picture of a satellite in space? Okay. CGI though too. It is CGI, yeah. And on the other side is actually just a, what they tell us is a regular satellite, but where's that satellite? Yeah. It's on the ground. So that may or may not be a working model, but then when they tell us the satellite's in space, it's a CGI image. So satellites may or may not really exist, and all of the communication done on Earth may or may not be just from ground towers and fiber optics. And, and balloons. NASA has a massive balloon program. It's significantly bigger than their shuttle program. And so a lot of people say, well, I see a light in the sky, so that's a satellite. But it may or may not be a balloon or a drone. Right. Very interesting. <laughs> so, interesting. yeah, just, my name is Joshua Swift. I got a Facebook channel. Cool. So, I mean, yeah, Joshua Swift, social experiment, check it out. and Or just Google Flat Earth on your own time and just humor yourself for a while yeah. you know it's gonna take a while to kind of have it connect but I just really encourage you don't be the last person to believe the earth is a globe Definitely. <laughs> all right Definitely. have a good one guys thanks yeah.